Sebastian Cunningham. Bobbles, my girlfriend is telling me to stop smoking so much weed and drinking so much liquor. What should I tell her? Sebastian, you tell her to fuck right off. That's what you do. I'm just joking. Don't tell her to fuck off or she'll punch you. Probably in the teeth. Well, maybe you are smoking too much weed and drinking too much liquor. Did you ever think of that? Maybe you are. I mean, I just because I'm on the liquor right now doesn't mean I drink too much. But you might, so, you know, just try to get her drinking and smoking with you and then there's no problem. That's what Recky does. See who else we got here. Morgan Winters. Morgan Winters. I don't know if that's a fella or a lady. Bob, since you've been trying so hard to get into space, have you tried applying to ESA, European Space Agency? They have loads of projects going on and send people to the ISS too. It's a very good question, Morgan. And in fact, I have tried to. I've been writing letters to all the space agencies for years. NASA, ESA, Japan, I've been writing all over the world just, you know, trying to get a ride up to space. And I actually won a fucking space contest there a couple of years ago. And they, or I mean, I got the most votes. It was like whoever gets the most votes, and I had the most votes, but they said no. And they gave it to some, some fella from Boston or something that was, a, you know, like a rocket scientist. Ooh. Heard me give it to the fucking smart fella. I could have flown a fucking rocket just as good as him. I'll tell you that right now. Probably better, because nobody, you know, practices as much. I built myself a fucking a bunch of simulators. I have rocket simulators that I use. A centrifugal, you know, the big centrifugal force thing. Almost spun myself to death one time. 12 G's I pulled. It's a lot of G's. This is from Michelle. Michelle says, what is something you've always wanted to try but have been too scared to? Well, that's a good question, too. Let me think about that. Oh, I wanted to fucking, I always wanted to fight a kangaroo. I think I could fight one. I think I could beat the cocksucker, too. I'm watching them. But, you know, I don't want to get in there in case he beats the shit out of me. It would be very embarrassing. Get the shit, shit beat out of you by a kangaroo. That's something I never know, though. I might fight one of those dirty bastards. I think the key is you wait till he gets up on his tail like that, and you know he's going to fucking, he's going to come up with the back feet, and you wait for that, and you fucking go out and just hammer fist him right in the fucking snout. Down he goes. <laughs> I'm just joking. I would never punch a kangaroo. Never punch a kangaroo. I wouldn't punch any animal, actually. No reason to punch kangaroos. Gabriel Boyoli. Gabriel Boyoli. B O I S J O L Y. Boyoli. Bubbles, will you ever want to settle down, have some kids? And if so, would you move out of your shed or build a double decker super shed for the kids and wife? It's a good question. I might do that someday if I find the right lady. You know, I'm always looking. I'm always looking if there's any ladies out there that would like to, you know, talk about that type of thing. I'd be interested to hear about that, you know. And But if I did do that, I would definitely, I'd put a fucking second floor on this with a little spiral staircase, you know, bedroom up there. That'd be decent. Maybe build a side room onto her. Right now, this is all I need. My shed's plenty big for me, and the stuff that goes on in here. This is from Corey Trevor. I hope this is somebody being funny. I'd feel awful bad for somebody if they had the fucking name Corey Trevor. Hey, bubs, when's the last time you got with a lady? You're always elbow deep in kitties, but always the wrong kind. Know what I'm saying? Well, that's none of your fucking business, Corey Trevor. I get busy with the ladies frequently. Frequently. I don't remember the last time. I think it was just like an hour ago. Basically. Fucking ask me that. This is from Sadie. 
Sadie, what is the most difficult song you've ever learned to play on guitar? Well, that's a tough question. I know a lot of Rush songs and they are not easy. Alex Lights and his fucking spirit of radio. I fucking played that. Pretty awesome. Cygnus X1. I know how to play that. I mean, I'd have to say it was, you know, definitely a Rush song. Because Alex, you know, Alex Lifeson is the best guitar player in the world. And I'm pretty close. That's what he told me anyway. He said, fuck, you're almost as good as me, Bubbles. Keep at it, and you might be someday. So I'm just, that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing. This is from Bobby Galula. Galula, Bobby Galula. Hey, Bubbles, how big is your bird? Oh, that's a nice question there, Bobby. How big's my bird? Why are you wondering? I got a fucking... I got a big hammer on me, to be honest. Perfectly honest. And that's not exactly true either. I don't like to tell lies. Average size bird. Now that's just fine with me because I can get her going like a fucking sewing machine. And that's what's important. The speed and the accuracy. That's it. That's all the questions. So there you go. Ask me fucking anything. Send in some more. I'll do another one. <sighs> I'm getting back on the lecker now. Where's my lecker?